and welcome to The One Show with Matt Baker. And Alex Jones. Now, tonight we are joined by four-time Olympic gold medalist and world record holder Michael Johnson is with us. Hi, everybody. And Michael is going to tell us all how, with a simple online test, you can find out how competitive you are. Yeah, but that's not all. No. Oh, no. We're also joined by a man who hasn't got any Olympic medals and holds no world records over any distance. No. But on the plus side, he is quite funny. It's Ricky Gervais. Yeah. Good to see you, Ricky. Good to see you. So we're doing this little thing on competitiveness yeah. tonight. It's now, yeah. obviously, you're a very successful man. Do you have that competitive drive? Uh, over trivial things. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Like uh, um, um, Tiddlywinks. Uh, oh, Tiddlywinks, pub quiz. Uh, pub quiz, I'm, I'm heckling the, the, the <laughs> presenter. And I'll, I'll, I'll be pedantic. I'll try and just get one extra point. Oh, it's terrible. Okay. It's awful. I'm a typical bloke. I can't lose at Trivial Pursuits. That's, that's, forget yeah, it. OK. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll talk to Michael about that, Eddie. Okay, yeah. Very interesting. Little Running? Yeah. yeah, carry on. You can win. <laughs> <laughs> Have it, Michael. Yeah. Yeah. Well, brilliant. Well, Ricky's here to talk about his brand-new series, uh, or the third third series of the series, The Ricky Gervais Show, uh, where he appears as a cartoon. And uh, it's not a bad likeness, this. No, it's not. <laughs> but watch out, Ricky. Watch out, because if the similarity gets any closer, you might accidentally stumble into Uncanny Valley. I hope not. I think it's a bit creepy. That is, that's creepy. It's that whole thing that you just can't relate to that character at all. You know they've got no emotion, yeah. so therefore it's a bit weird. Do you, what do you, do you make of Emily there, Ricky? Um... Well, I, I think the technology is amazing, but I think yeah. when it's an animation, it sort of defeats the object, really. I think that, that there's, there's less escapism. It seems, it seems to... Yeah. I don't know, you might as well get the actor in. Well, that's what I think, exactly. Although yeah. I'd rather have one of them do me, so I don't have to turn up. So. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, the style of the characters in the Ricky Gervais show, I mean, that, that's oh, well, key, I, isn't it? I, well, I wanted that to be really retro and cuddly, because the things we talk about are so out there and quite challenging. Yeah. That I, I, wanted it, I didn't want it to be trendy and spiky and, and challenging in any way, so yeah. I wanted it sort of, you know, Hanna-Barbera and sweet. You know, and um, I sort of designed the original sketches and sent them off to the, um, the animators, who are uh, amazing. Um, so and, you, uh, you, you, can't, you had... You oh, with the original yeah. drawings, they obviously made them. Oh, they are really yeah. lovely, right. And yeah. then, um, uh, they actually said, um, with mine, between, um, uh, <laughs> Series 2 and Series 3, they said, um, oh, you've lost a bit of weight and you've got a beard now, do you want to change it? And I went, no, that'd be too expensive, you know, so, <laughs> leave, him, leave him fat and shiny, what do I care? <laughs> no, but I like it to be a time capsule, I yeah. like those, yeah. even if Carl got hit on the head now and he suddenly became really smart, they're a little... Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he's yeah. there forever. My note on him was even rounder. I kept going, look, he's, round, <laughs> he's rounder than that. I said, we've we got compasses. We're draw I said, no, he's rounder than that. Right. Just keep it going. We've got compasses. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the new show is back on Tuesday, isn't it? Yeah. And, I mean, it, it looks like you three friends in there having a chat. I mean, how much of it is ad-lib, then? How it's do all you work it it's out? All, people, people say... Is it scripted? As if we bother scripting that rubbish. But do you have it's topics? It works so then? well, though, doesn't it? I mean, I'm well, surprised the, at that because we just we, we went in there. I did it as an experiment. I thought it'd be funny. I'd just love being in a room with Carl Pilkington. He's my best mate. I'd be doing it anyway. I call him all the time. I'm going to call him after the show. And yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, and um, uh, uh, and I just thought that that's fun. I think that's what you know normal people do. They chat, mm, and I, mm. we tr we try to do that, and then. We put it out, uploaded it as a podcast, and it went crazy, and then, you know, this happened. So, yeah. But it was just an experiment, it was just fun, it was, it was a labour of love, really, you know. Yeah. And, uh, but it is, it's just, it's, not, it's totally ad-lib, yeah. 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 Well, let's have a look at one of the shows, here we are. Carl, these are things that really annoy you. Uh, slugs. They cause more problems than good. They eat, they eat cabbage. Right. Um, when they shouldn't be. They get in letter boxes and nick stamps. They don't nick stamps. They eat the stamps. They like the glue on it. And that's why they're so slow. I think they're sweating glue. Sweat! <laughs> think of a drug! A slug! <laughs> what do you mean they sweat glue? <laughs> <laughs> it's... Right. It's he sort of, he observes the world, but then he makes up his own facts. Yeah. Like, he's obviously heard that they like the taste of the glue, so they're nicking stamps. That quantum leap to them nicking stamps. <laughs> and then they're sweating glue. I like right. that, sweating his, glue. His knowledge of the animal kingdom is fantastic. Yeah. It's just great. I love to get him on the big subjects, because he's, he's amazing. <laughs> but, but this is actually the third series, and, you know, historically, you don't do a third series. No, do it's Office usually, and extras is two. Yeah, two series and a special. But you've got to realise, with this, someone else is doing all the hard work. <laughs> <laughs> I just... I just chatted. 
<laughs> and I just, I'm selling this the third time now. Um, no, it's the third season. I mean, it's 39 episodes, which is more... I think that's more than The Office Annex has put together. <laughs> <laughs> but we are doing a special of Idiot Abroad. He's off on his travels now, so... You know, um, yeah. you know. You do put him in, in, in the well, extraordinary situations. Do you ever feel you know bad for that or not? I, no, he's, he's my gift to the world. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> you know, I, I, I think he's the funniest guy in the world. He's my best mate, and um, uh, and yeah. for people who say I'm bullying him, uh, uh, write in if you want to be bullied by me because you get your own series, you get a new house, and you become a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not a bad deal, is well, it? Well, listen, one of the big part, well, big parts of the animation is, is your laugh. It's brilliant. Okay, we've got a little, we've got a little game for. Well, brilliant to some. Well, Some people want to uh, scratch their own ears off. Well, well, let's have a little reminder of the laugh. Here we go. Nothing makes me laugh like him. I just he's like that. Well, people say, is he real? Well, if he's not, if he's not real, he keeps the act up 24/7. Yeah. Yeah. He's just funny all the time. Well, I tell you what, we were wondering, weren't we, whether you could sort of guess other people's laughs. So guess the laugh. This game is um, now they the famous, famous people, people. Famous people, yeah. yeah. As opposed to just he general. works in our chip shop. Oh, <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> That's, got that's three. Norman. <laughs> We've got three. OK, Ricky. Listen right. up. Here comes the first okay. one. OK. <laughs> Sid James. <gasps> Nailed it straight away. That's really good. <laughs> very good. Yeah, okay. very good. <laughs> OK, here's our second famous laugh. <laughs> Again? <laughs> uh, I've no idea. Think about it. He's a friend of yours. Come on. There he is. It's Jimmy Carr. <laughs> OK, stop it, stop it. <laughs> Isn't it creepy after a while? It's and like a ghost. <laughs> yeah. This, this third one's quite hard, isn't it? Um, yeah, good luck with this one. Here we go. It's a female. Oh, I didn't get the last one. <laughs> what? Female what? Singer, female singer. It's a female singer. Human. Human. Yeah. <laughs> this is the, uh, that's her actual laugh. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I like it. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> What? One more. Not... It's Adele. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. What a That's game. That's good. Wow. <laughs> She's got a lovely voice, but not when she laughs. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, Brilliant. There we are. The third series of the Ricky Gervais show starts next Tuesday on E4 at 11.30. Mm -hmm. Now, Ricky, anybody who follows you on Twitter will know you're a big cat lover. Yeah. You post pictures of you and Ollie the cat quite yeah. often. Ah. Oh. Oh. Right across Britain. There we go. <laughs> uh, but did you know that uh, as a, a cat lover in the 1960s, you could walk into Harrods and pick up yourself... I can't believe it. ..a oh. lion cub. That's ridiculous. Mm. It does sound absolutely mental, but anyway, uh, he's Giles to explain. It's that, yeah. it's that interesting argument of should you allow the imprinting to happen with the humans, which obviously it happened there with, you know, with the lion cub yeah, and, well, and the, the gorilla. Yeah, well, the is, you know, if, in general, you shouldn't keep wild animals. It's simple as that. The fact they are so intelligent and mm. Mm. Um, it, it proves what you, they shouldn't be imprisoned for our amusement. They're not yeah. here for our amusement. It is a privilege, and that's a nice ending, but it shouldn't have been in Harrods in the first place, you know? It's... No. It's, it's people see things like this and they think, oh, how cute, I could have one, and they, they just, just shouldn't. Yeah. You just shouldn't keep a wild animal. Mm. Just and it can't record. be done, though, yeah, of course. There was legislation yeah. that well, followed yeah. that that yeah. made it impossible. And it does now make a contribution to conservation. So it's a, it's yeah, a difficult that's, one. Yeah that's, yeah, that's different. Well, thanks, Giles, for that. Yeah, thank it's lovely. you, Giles. Thank you. We're launching a brand-new BBC online experiment today, looking into sports psychology, aren't you? Right, and it's, uh, you know, it can help anyone. So anyone who goes online and takes the test can be helped about, you know, in terms of the pressure they feel, whether it's a job interview or speaking in front of people or sitting next to Ricky. You know, <laughs> it can help you, you know, understand how you deal with pressure. And, um, and then all of the data that's, uh, that's, you like that, huh? Yeah. All of the data that's collected um, will help scientists and, and psychologists figure out, you know, what type of characteristics actually make people better at uh, handling pressure and, and worse. But, but the one thing that most people don't understand is that you can improve. So yeah. you, don't have to, you don't have to stay where you are. It's interesting, Tess. We did it this afternoon. Yeah, you find out in what conditions you, you work best in. Yours was happiness, happiness. wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And mine was excitement. And then, you know, you give your little tips as we go. Now, Ricky was saying earlier on, and kind of jokingly, but pub quizzes and trivial pursuits <laughs> and stuff like that. What state are you in when you're playing that? Because this is the key, isn't it, Mike? It is. I just, I just want to win. But are you angry? Are anger. You excited? Excited? Anger. You can... <laughs> um, no, no, it's sort of tongue-in-cheek, but it's that thing of, uh, well, I, I, I pressure. Um, I, I suppose 
I, I do go from naught to 60. I can be having the best day in the world and something goes wrong and it's like, yeah. oh, for f... Yeah. yeah, so it's, it's... What? Well, I told him what? What? So it's angry, it's angry, yeah, so, uh, yeah. I suppose I, um, yeah, I like, um, I try and rule stress out of my life, actually, so I, I avoid stress by getting, <laughs> making sure things are OK. I don't know if that... Yeah. that, that doesn't doesn't necessarily, but that doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to perform better when he's angry. Mm. I'm not, I mean, you, you would need to take the test to see, but I don't, yeah. you know, some people feel more comfortable when they're angry. Like, I felt better and I competed better when I didn't really like one of my competitors. Right. But you right. can't really rely on but that. But yours is I don't, explosive, I don't, isn't it? Yours is this sort of, like, right. physical. But I don't yeah. want to have to be running around trying to find somebody to be angry about, you know, <laughs> before I go into a race. Yeah. So you can't really rely on that. No. And you want to make this the biggest experiment of its kind ever, don't you? Yeah. Just I, yeah. It, we just launched <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> That's, right. yeah. exactly. That's why I'm, I'm doing a bigger <laughs> one. It's, uh, it starts on ITV <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Okay. Oh, go on, Michael. So, yeah, the idea. Yeah, let me go on. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it, we, we just launched it this morning. 18,000 people have already signed on to it. Nice. And uh, so we want to get over a million people. And this will, and, and again, it helps people understand better how they deal with pressure and, and how to improve themselves. Thank you so much for coming in, Michael. Ricky, lovely to see you. Uh, the Ricky Gervais show starts next Tuesday, E4 at 11.30 p.m. On tomorrow night's show, it's only the greatest living painter that I know. Do you know who it is, yes? Ralph Harris? Indeed. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow.